So the next topic we're going to take a look at is using uh, secrets uh, in our GitHub workflows. Uh, so, so far uh, in our uh, workflows, we've not had a need for an additional uh, sensitive value. Um, but there's plenty of use cases for where you might need to provide a sensitive API key or access token to your workflow file uh, so you can execute some type of action. And luckily, um, out of the box, GitHub Action supports this. And uh, to do that, basically what we're going to do is go to your settings in your repository under your options uh, in the security tab there's a secrets section and you can add to your actions additional environment secrets that you want to be uh, available to your workflows um, so there's a variety of ways that you can do this you can set it up for an environment basis so you could target like your dev staging production environment uh, you could set up a global one that's just access to uh, your repository across all environments uh, if you're part of an organization you can set up a uh, organization secret and allow repos to access it um, and so there's a lot of configurations options available to you uh, so for uh, this course we're just going to focus on repository secrets uh, so the nice thing about repository secrets is they only apply to this repository so if i complete it if i create it here and i go to another one of my repos it won't be available and so to create a secret, uh, you just would want to provide a meaningful name uh, for your secret. So basically this will be the environment variable, um, the secret environment variable that's available to you in your workflow file. Um, so just as an example, I'm just gonna call this test secret and then uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in uh, foo. And so here you provide your sensitive value, go ahead and click on add secret we'll see that our screen's been updated. We now have a new repository secret uh, called test secret. And so now in our workflow files, uh, we have the option to pull this and use that in our workflow. Uh, so to see an example, what we'll do is let's uh, switch over to our code. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a new workflow file. I'm just gonna call this secrets.yaml. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll just go to our shared actions YAML file. Let's just copy that block of code. We'll update our workflow name. Uh, so we're just going to do secret example. And we'll run our workflow dispatch for our steps. We don't need to check out our repo because we're just testing our secret. Um, so we're just going to change our step name to test secret. And then we're going to go ahead and run a set of uh, steps. Uh, then we're just going to run some code. What we'll do, we'll do echo mast secret. And then what we'll do is we'll do echo secrets dot test secret. All right, uh, so out of the box, GitHub Actions will go ahead and mask if you try to access your secret values and try to print them to the console. Uh, so it's just a, an additional security uh, mechanism that's in place to help protect you from leaking your secrets. Uh, so what we're going to do is to validate our secrets coming through. And just for educational purposes, uh, we're going to manipulate the string a little bit uh, so that way we can actually print out the value. Uh, so it's uh, definitely not recommended that you do this. Um, uh, for any of your, uh, uh, so it's definitely recommend, um, <clears throat> uh, so I definitely don't recommend doing this for any of your actual projects, um, and this is just for educational purposes only. Uh, so we'll do secret, and so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and access our secret again. And then what we'll do is we'll take our string, and we're just going to modify it a little bit by adding some spaces. Oh, and one last thing we want to do before coming to our code is just update our job name. Uh, so let's do test secret. Now if we go ahead and save and commit our code. Let's go ahead and come to the GitHub UI. Let's go to our secrets example workflow. And let's go ahead and manually run it. And so we'll just let the job queue up and execute and we'll take a look at the results. All right, so if we go into our test secret job, uh, and we'll go ahead and view the test secret. Um, so you'll see here, if we try to echo out our secret, by default, it does get masked. Um, and like I said, because of the manipulation, we can see the value. So we'll see that our foo value was passed through, and we can use that secret.